Now you, now you do. I don't know why I had that muted. <laughs> you can hear me now. Okay. Now it should be set. And I see we've got our YouTube people, our Facebook people in here today. So, um, what I was saying, uh, tomorrow I have uh, a pickup to do. So I'll be gone most of the day. So Eileen will be here in the morning solo and we are working on an evening sale. I don't know when it's going to be tomorrow, tonight or tomorrow. Um, right now, um, I've got general vintage and I think you'll be happy with what we have today. It's a good mix. Good. Uh, what, what else is going on? Oh my gosh. Almost two months to Teak Stock. We're, get, we're going to be getting under two months. I cannot believe it. We are getting so excited. Um, let me know. I'm just going to go over it a little bit. Let me know if you're coming. I don't care if you're coming to shop, but if you're coming to camp or set up or only camp, let me know. Um, I've got my list started. We're going to have to figure out where everybody's going to go this year because it's, I think it's going to be bigger than the other two. It's growing. So um, I'm working on a special guest for the show. So keep your fingers crossed that that happens. Of course, George will be with us the whole time. Um, and uh, we got, we're going to have a lot of people there. Um, also, the camper rentals. Some of you have asked about camper rentals. Um, the, I don't know exactly what the price is. I think it just depends what you get. Um, you'll have to call uh, Jim over at Larry's RV. But I think for the weekend it's like it's under 500. I'm not I'm not sure. But you can buddy up if you want to buddy up with somebody um, and split that. Let me know. Um, but I've posted the short and you it, all the information is there. It's Larry's RV in Hillsdale. Tell them that you are from the Rosie Group or send me a little note. You should send me a little note and tell me you're going to do that anyway, um, so that I can put you down on. Not a map, but just my mental map in my head. <laughs> okay, any questions about that? It's coming up quick. If you have any questions, we'll probably do a question and answer show um, one of these one of these nights. Oh, I feel like I have a piece of my bangs floating in my eyes. Um, but it's a really fun time. Don't feel you have to come all three days if you want to set up. So if you are doing something Sunday and you want to, you know, you want to just do Friday and Saturday or just Saturday, that's okay. We just need to know. Um, it's perfectly fine. People, you'll see new vendors come in every day. That's why it's fun to camp. Okay. Um, let's get started. If you have any questions, you can just ask me about that. If you have any questions at all, you can just ask me. Um, we're going to start out with this beautiful necklace. And... Um, it is just gorgeous, perfect for spring. It's a newer necklace, but we're going to start the show out with it. I thought it was absolutely beautiful. I'm going to start this one out at $5. Look at how pretty that is. All done in shades of pink. Music timer and out on this first one. Hello there, Dawn. I'm getting all my reminders. My reminders that I'm on. I know I'm on. Okay, so we have $5 with Swifty, and um, let me find the music here, and I might have to adjust the sound, so, oh, it sounds good, $5. I love these kind of necklaces that kind of drop. I think they're very flattering. Swifty is in at $5. Is that pretty? Five dollars with Swifty. Music timer and out on these first few lots. Hi, Barbara. Barbara's at six. Why am I bouncing around this morning? All right, seven with Swifty. It is, it, are you having a hard time hearing? Uh, try turning up your volume, volume, Tammy. I don't think there's an issue. Is anybody else having a, a hard time hearing it? Okay, music timer now. Got a lot to get through today. Got to clean this place out so we can bring on, bring in the new stuff. Here we go, timer and out. 
Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Posted some pictures on the deals page today of our Dolores. Um, I also did a short this morning, my dream. Of course, my dream will never be a reality, but you're going to want to watch it. <laughs> All right, Swifty is in at seven. It's a pretty nice spring necklace. Wow, go with anything. And we have about 10 seconds left. We'll, we're doing the timer on these first lots. Well, that's weird. Um, let me go check my mic volume, but my mic volume is is. I don't I, I don't want to have to turn um, the volume up unless everybody's having an issue because my mic volume's up before or way past where it usually is. Okay, Barb gets it. Thanks, Barb. If, if we've got a, an issue that everybody is facing, I will go in and turn it up. I don't want to just blow some people's eardrums out. Okay. I, I'm, I'm jiggling, jiggling. I don't know why. Okay, awesome. So Barb gets that for 11 why is that? Why am I moving so much? Remember, I have these plates from yesterday, if you weren't here. There are five Wedgwood plates, and I'm not going to show them um, too much, but they are $10. And I'm going to get rid of them if somebody doesn't like them. Okay. You hear me fine. Okay. Thank you, thank you. One down. Next up... I'm going to do, I'm going to do, well, what am I going to do? I'm going to do choice of these hankies. I saw George short yesterday or his um, video yesterday and he, he got a bunch of hankies. So we're going to get in the mood. I have, you're going to have choice and I think there's five in each one of these. We'll start them at $5. Let me write A letter on them so we know now watch closely watch closely okay because I'm only going to show them once because we're in the time round so this is a that cute that's a but, but there's more so this is lot a oh look at these that's just half of it That's one, two, three. Okay, so this one has four nice ones in it. Can't see so good while well, you're back. Don't worry. This is B, one, two, three, four, five, that's B, and then we got C, one, two, Three, four, five, and I'm going to put this 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 extra one in A because A was short. Okay, so that's what we have. You're getting choice of the bundles. Okay, and five dollars. There's five in each one, so that's a buck a piece. I'll show you one more time.
this is A. That's A. Okay. That's A. This is, well, this is B. Let me show them one more time and then. Okay, that's B. And this is C. Oops. Okay. Those are kind of hard to show. But th there you go. I think you saw them all. All right, here we go. And I'm going to put them back in their little bags. Choice of the hankies. <laughs> All right. Hmm. <laughs> so A, B, or C, five in each. Nancy's in at 10. Eleven Timmy. Twelve with Nancy. Okay, here we go. Time ran out. One more lot with the time room. We'll be all set. Now we got twelve dollars with Nancy. Yeah, Pauline's gonna be able to see for miles and miles. <laughs> Her, your first one went really well, didn't it, Pauline? Good morning, Jan. $12 for choice of the linen bags. You've seen them. A, B, or C. If you're interested in blue plates, well, I can probably fix you up. That's a first. All right, uh, Nancy's in at 12. We got 15 seconds left. I'm gonna do some pottery up next. And it's going to be a timed lot. Uh, five seconds left. We will run the clock out. 13. Swift, we missed you yesterday. That was kind of weird. Did they ever say what made the Facebook um, Facebook go down yesterday? I, I don't think I ever heard it. They, they really didn't make a big deal out of it. Swifty followed by Nancy. ones I showed. Oh, you want them for 10 bucks, Pauline? It's just a, it's just a out the door. We put them up yesterday. I'm not going to put them up again. You can get all of them for $10. Okay, Swifty takes B. All right, so Nancy, we have A and C left. B is going to be 413. Hankies. That price was 13. All right, Pauline gets the blue plate. I just sent a box out to you, Pauline, so I'm going to hang on to these for a bit. Otto gets 414, the Wedgwood. All right, Nancy T, you're the backup. Then there'll be. Oh, you want a B too? No way. Okay, does anybody want A or C? Up for grabs. I don't I I watched the news last night and they did say it was out, but they didn't say, you know, they didn't say why. Timmy takes C, and we have A left. And remember, I put the extra one in there. Thank you, Timmy. Okay, I got A left.
No way. No way. I just got I just got a, a little notice that Eric Murphy wants to come to Teak Stock, the urban ghost hunter. I think that's I think that's Eric. Sometimes I get names mixed up. Okay. Four sixteen goes to Timmy. Eric Murphy is like the expert in carnival glass. We are going to have him do some kind of a little seminar. Oh, this is going to be so cool, guys. Okay. Thank you, Timmy. This is a pottery lot. Um, so this is this is going to be a timed lot also. And I'm going to start these out at um, $10. This is for choice. Oops. These are old mid-century pieces. This one is McCoy. This one is a green that probably is not going to show up too well on the camera. It's that it's that 50s green. Let me see how it shows up here. We have that one. This one is a McCoy USA. This is that dusty rose kind of coral corally I don't know how to explain that color. It's kind of a coral pink. And then we have this one. This is also McCoy. So these are all McCoy. No, it is it is that 50s green. You, you know you know the green I'm talking about? This one is so cool. I love the, the uh, basket weave bottom. And this is also McCoy. All right. So let me go ahead and show you these. So this is this is the one with the basket. Does that pink show up? I'm going to go back farther. Maybe that'll give you a truer color. So that's um, the pink with the basket. Here is the little pink planter. And then we have the green one. <laughs> Here we go. Remember, this is timer. Chartreuse. Yeah, kind of. Um, that green was everywhere back in the day. Um, 17 was Swifty. So this one we'll call, um, this one we'll call the, the this kind of look like buds. We'll call that buds. <laughs> this one's definitely the green. Oops. Um, kind of a speckled green. This is a time lot, so get your bids in. And this one definitely has the bamboo, the bamboo base. Kind of a basket weave base. That's what we'll call it. This would be interesting with an arrangement in it. $20 is bid. Swifty is in at $20. We're going to do the timer. It is timer and out. So get your bids in. Very cool. 21 with Marcy. Bitter will get choice. If I was doing something really, really mid-century, I would definitely go for the green one. That is so cool. 21 with Marcy. I always like the McCoy, McCoy Hallmark on the bottom. Whoops. So so cool. 21 with Marcy. Bitter will get choice. Remember, Eileen will be here solo tomorrow. Got to go do some pickups. Get you some more cool stuff. Uh, and there's no shortage of stuff right now for me. Oh my gosh, I'm so busy picking up stuff. Um, I got to find a where, where to put it, but that's a good problem. <laughs> that's a good problem. All right, it is sold to Swifty followed by Marcy. So um, Swifty, let me know which ones you'd like. And I'll put a number on them for you. The bud, okay. So you take this one. Um, and Marcy, you are the backup. 
if you are so inclined. Um, coal. No kidding. Okay, anybody else up for grabs? Oops. These are both really cool. I think the pink one, I, I think they're both really cool. So the price is 23 If anybody wants one of those, up for grabs. We're going to move pretty swiftly today. Here we go. We're going to start it at 15, timer, the green one. Okay. I'll tell you what, I'm going to do 17. So I'm going to do 17 for you, Dawn, on the green one, and we'll do 17 on this one if anybody wants it. this one for 17 that is so cool whoops that, that's I meant to get rid of that so don't worry about that okay happy, happy gets this one okay <clears throat> I was gonna run him again but I figured it'd be quicker just to do it this way okay happy Good morning to you. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna move. We've got. I got the Scotties today. I'm gonna put them up pretty soon. Uh, the um, shakers. I'm gonna do choice of the corn. This is Shawnee. The butter dish. I would assume also is, but I'm not sure about the butter dish. But the picture is definitely marked Shawnee. Both in great condition. No more timer. We're gonna start these out at 10 and go. Very popular, the corn, the corn. Let me go ahead and show you these close up. So this one is the Shawnee. If, if my light's too bright, let me know. It's a weird day, kind of uh, a cloudy day, so my light might be too bright. This is the butter dish, or really whatever you wanna put in there. That one's kind of a more hard, a harder one to find. So you're going to get your choice of the corn. And we'll start this out at 10. Yes. Perfect for your summertime table. Sweet corn time is the best time of the summer. <laughs> Ten dollars. The one is the pitcher is definitely marked Shawnee. Very collectible, and the butter dish is very cool too. I think I think you'll like either one of these pieces. We'll start them out at ten, and here we go, Mom. Now you can just tell me that if you're in or out. Sherry Bex, 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 Bex. <laughs> Sherry is in at ten. Either one. This month, I'm telling you, I I always say I can't get any busier. This month is crazy, crazy, crazy. Thank God I got Eileen. I've been asked to do a few shows out there too. Um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna be a guest on another channel, but I've gotta I've gotta get everything I've gotta get done first in March. So That'll probably be towards the end of the month, but Trudy will be here Saturday. 
um, for sure, Trudy will be here Saturday, um, and George will be here on March 15th. Sherry's in at 10. Uh, no more timer. Uh, so I do see uh, buttermilk and cream. So buttermilk, let me know if you want to go higher. $10 is bid. I saw your 10 buttermilk, but uh, Sherry came in a little bit before you. Yes. So if you saw the ad for Trudy, I tried to do the background to incorporate St. Patrick's Day and uh, Easter. So you'll see in the background of her ad, um, there's bunnies and they're eating clovers. So that means we're having a sale that's going to um, that's gonna incorporate both holidays. So that's going to be Saturday. Um, there she is. There's, a, there's, there's my right hand gal, Eileen. She's going to be here uh, tomorrow morning. And Eileen and I are going to be doing an evening sale. I don't know if it'll be tonight. It'll probably be tomorrow. Um, maybe even Friday. But we've got an evening sale in the works. So um, there you go. Okay, um, Buttermilk, uh, let me know if you're in or out. I'll do a last chance one more time. And then um, I will, okay, Teresa Cobb's at 12. Okay, because I'll call it if I don't hear from somebody. So ten, uh, $12 with Teresa. Sherry, let me know if you're in or out. This is for choice. 14 with Sherry Becks. Next week will be interesting. Um, we are going to be uh, going to pick up our flower shop that we that we purchased. So we're going to be doing that next week. Um, a lot of Fenton, a lot of Fenton, but a lot of um, a lot of little stuff too. I think you'll really be interested in boutique style stuff. We got some stuff for Easter. Um, Teresa Cobb is at 15, so that'll be next week in the evenings. Teresa Cobb is in at 15. Good morning, Pat Montgomery. Yes, it's gloomy here in Michigan, too. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> what a gloomy winter this has been. No pretty snow. Just blah, blah, blah. All right, Sherry's in at 16. Teresa, let us know. Okay, Sherry Bex is in at 16, just waiting for Teresa. All in, all done. Bitter will get choice of the butter dish or the pitcher. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that's all it is. Blah, blah, blah. Good morning, Patty Spies. Sherry, let us know. I don't want to cut you off, but we got lots to sell today. We do, we do. Nineteen. Now Teresa. So I'm invoicing three sales at one time, really. I think yesterday's sale is all invoiced except for maybe one or two people. Um, the boutique sale is just about done that we did Saturday. Um, and the choice sale, I, I have to go through. I think I, I pretty much have everybody from the choice sale. Let me look and see. <clears throat> I just have a couple people, but I think I've got everybody invoiced. If you don't have an invoice, let me know. I, I got to get Joanne's and uh, Sherry Bishop's. Teresa Cobb's in at 20. And Sherry, let me know. All right. Okay, Teresa. You let me know the corn, which corn? Which corn would you love? The price is 20. So you can take one or two, and our backup bidder is going to be Sherry Becks.
Okay, she's going to take them both. 420 and 421. Thank you. All right, we did this yesterday, we're doing it today. I went out, you guys seem to be liking the shakers, so I went out and grabbed some more. And these are the Scotties. You're gonna get them all. And I washed them so some of them are a little wet. You're gonna get all you see. I think you see, I think you can see them pretty good on there. You didn't get your invoice yet, Cindy? I was wondering about that because I packed your stuff yesterday. You didn't get, let me, let me take care of Cindy because I remember that was a question here. For what day, Cindy, was that for? Let me know what day that was, Cindy, and I'll take a look because I, I packed some stuff from you from front and Friday yesterday. All right. Yeah, let me know because this is what my, my, typical, my typical invoice sheet looks like. So sometimes... I skip, I miss things. I don't mean to, but sometimes I miss them. I mean, this is what it looks like. <laughs> or the quilts and candy. Oh, you, oh, the boutique sale. Let me make sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I gotcha. Uh, the boutique sale, I only have a few out there I haven't done yet. So, okay. Oh, Cobb. Oh, my God. Am I slow or what? Teresa, Teresa. <laughs> You're so funny. You're getting all of these. Lids are in various conditions. This is probably the worst lid. These are little melt glass. Scotty, uh, and I just dumped water all over me. USA, we, we figured out yesterday. Um, tip, Tipton? Tip Town? Tip City? I can't remember what it was, but it says tip something or other. This is cloves with the Scotty. The paint on them are really good. Um, what, let me see. Keep my finger there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. All right, seven of them. Yes, Eileen, I saw your short. It was really good. You're, you're getting good at editing. <laughs> you're getting good at editing. I, I, I used to hate it. Now I think it's kind of fun. All right. Tip City, yes, here we go. You're getting the whole kit and caboodle, all seven. And they're all uh, little shakers. You're giving them to your daughter who's a chef. That's cool. Okay, Nancy, I'll check. Nancy T. Yeah, I got them head bases. Those are gone. Goodness. Nancy T is at 50. This is for all of them. 60 with copper. All right, copper's at 60. Nancy's out. Okay, so uh, let's do a last chance. And let's kind of look and see what we've got. 65 with Miss K. This is for all of them. Our first 65 happens to be with Miss K. Miss K, let me know what you, what you guys plan on doing for Teak Stack. If you need a space, or if you need a camper, or whatever you need, um, Miss K. If you want to email me, you can. But I want to I want to make sure I got gotcha. you. 68 with Kathy. Miss K is out. Okay. Um. Kathy G is at 68. Copper is out. Okay. Sold to Kathy G. Let me 
Getting them all. You're getting them all. 422. I've had I've had this stuff a long time so um and now we're gonna sell these now this has a holder okay now the holders got and I, I just washed it so that's why I seem to be leaking water and I can't find my towel so this is uh it's got some rust on it but you just need to repaint that red repaint where is my dish towel here it is um just repaint that red with some rust-oleum. You'll be okay there, okay? So um, you got the little holder, and these are rain shakers. Now I don't. They're these are just random shakers. They're not salt and pepper. We got sugar and flour. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, we got some good stuff coming up, too. How far am I from the lake? You mean, how far is Teak Stack from the lake, from Stewart Lake? That's the closest lake. There might be some Airbnbs on the lake. Um, probably three miles. Now these are taller, these are rain shakers, okay? So, so these are gonna be taller. They are uh, not quite five inches. How from I from Lake Michigan? Oh, okay. Um, gosh, what do you think, John? If, we, if you were to go straight over, maybe 65, 70 miles. Maybe, it's not 100. I know it's not a hundred, so um, probably 65, 70 miles, something like that. What do you think, Miss K? How far do you think we're from the lake? Miss K will know. I don't think it takes. I, I really don't know. So Kalamazoo. I would, I would say somewhere between 65 and 80 miles. Yeah. Copper's in at 35. You don't know how far? We're, we're how far we are from Lake Michigan? I would say somewhere between 65 and 80 miles. <laughs> All right. So um, 35 is bid. Kathy G, let us know. 36. got to think about that yeah the marsh thing is going great I have an appointment to go up on the 15th in the morning that's why uh, March 15th there'll be no sale in the morning Fenton Friday because I'll be up there um, and then when I get back from um, speaking with them, I will be on with George and we'll do Fenton Friday at night. It'll be a big Fenton Friday sale at night. Yep. <sighs> Copper's in at 45. Kathy G, let me know if you're in or out. 46. I just had two purses and I don't know where I set them down. Two purses. There they are. Hi Steph. Hey look at our gals in the house. <laughs> All right. Um short and thumbs up for Eileen. Yes, she did really good. 
He did really good on that short. Okay, Kathy G gets him for 46. Oh, 423. Good morning, Facebook user. All right, that's already done. Cute, cute, cute. You're only temporary awake just to say hello? Well, geez, we're, we're lucky. You take your time getting up. You're a hard-working gal. Okay. Next up, I have two Whiting and, Davi, two Whiting and Davis bags. This silver one, look at that. Whiting and Davis. Mesh bags. This still has the stuffing in it. I don't think this was ever used. Let's see. No, it was never used. It still has the tissue paper in there. No kidding. Ah. So this is our first choice, and it is Whiting and Davis. And it's got the chain, okay? It's a, it's a nice little bag. This is an older Whiting and Davis. This one has the frame. It's mesh, and um, everything looks great. This is this is this is actually sewn metal into this rim. It is. They're known for their mesh bags, by the way. I love Whiting and Davis, and I don't know if you're going to be able to see the tag on the inside. But it says Whiting and Davis. So this is Whiting and Davis, too. We're going to start these at 10 and go. Good morning, Pete. Everybody's sleeping in today. It must be one of them gloomy days. Steph's got an excuse. She's three hours behind us. <laughs> so um, this is a, with a kisser top. Um, it's it's got the chain. Steph, I want to get, get you back in here. I just don't know what day. I'm so busy getting stuff this week. Or, and then we have this little mesh one. I think this was more contemporary, but this, this you could use it as a crossbody. It's got a really long strap. All right, here we go. You're going to get your choice. 14, Stacy Freeman. Hi, Charlotte. I see ya. Just make sure you watch the screen because we're in different venues this morning. Well, okay, Steph. I'll be gone next week, most of the week. It's going to be a wash next week. And this week's almost gone. All right, Sherry Bex is at 16. Let me go ahead and measure this for you. The silver one, just the bag, is six and a half inches. The gold one is about four and a half. They're both Whiting and Davis. Get your choice. Sherry Bex is at 16. Nancy Adams, Stacy Freeman, let me know. Here is our high bid. Nancy Adams is in at 20. Stacy's out. Charlotte, let me know. And Sherry Bax, let us know. So Charlotte and Sherry Bax, let us know. You'll get your choice of the silver or the gold. Sherry's in at 22. Charlotte's out. Thanks, Charlotte. Nice to see you today. Nancy Adams, just waiting for you.
I want to do a night sale stuff, but I, I don't know. You got anything going on Thursday or Friday? What do I get doing? Oh, Saturday's Trudy. All right. Have a great day, Don. 25 with Nancy Adams. Whiting Davis started making bags in 1876. Imagine that. Sherry Bax, let us know. You'll be the backup right now, Sherry. Oh, we still have active video 26. Clothes shopping. How fun. 28, Nancy. Okay, that sounds good. First on the agenda, Steph. Or maybe you can hop on one morning when, when I come back, too. We can get you twice in one week. Sherry's at 29. All right. Uh, Nancy, let us know. 30 with Nancy. kind of be fun to have uh I'll have to ask uh maybe Eileen and Steph can come on that morning that I'm going to be up at uh Lansing we'll see we'll see uh okay Sherry Bex is out Nancy Adams let us know $30 you let me know which ones you want back up is Sherry Bex Silver or gold, silver or gold. Please tell me which ones you would like. <laughs> Both, okay. Whiting and Davis, they are so awesome for their mesh bags. I'm going to put a sticker on the frame instead of the bag. Thanks, Nancy. $30 each. Thank you. Thank you, backup bidders. Okay. <clears throat> I've had this, this, these sitting here, and I, I'm just going to go ahead and sell them. I don't know why I've had them sitting here. Um, they're actually dusty. That's all right. These are all Fenton made for LG Wright. So these are Fenton made for LG Wright. Um, I have pretty much... A whole series here if I can get them clean enough <laughs> they're kind of dusty but here's here goes okay so we're gonna start these at um, $10 and this is for choice I'll sell at least one now these are Fenton made for LG Wright okay so I may be cleaning them up as I'm showing you so we have this beautiful rose bowl this has a wonderful uh, deep deep pink color on the inside and Fenton made these for LG Wright and LG Wright of course painted them so let me clean these up while I'm showing you because they were a barn find <laughs> um, and they're just beautiful so here is the Rose Bowl okay um, and then I have the vase. Fenton made for LG Wright. Uh, these are these are older too, so I'm I'm not sure exactly the date on these, but here is the vase. Okay. And you're gonna get the dust. <laughs> Doing the best I can. Eight inches on the vase. And we have one more item, and then I'll put the music on. Um, and then we have the cruet. And these must have been um, Roberts because there's a note on the cruet. Is there a note on these? Nope. So the cruet says, they call it peach 
Blow. Uh, the design is called Moss Rose. And it's from 1959. There you go. And this is a rare find. This one has 180 on it. There's what he says. Our historian. Oops. Fenton Peach Blow. Moss Rose Fluted. 1959. Okay. And there's the cruet. So you're going to get your choice of any of the pieces. Oh, great. And we have $15 to start. I thought those bookends were cool, too. I really thought those were awesome. All right, let's showcase these. Here's the cruet. Here's the vase, eight inches. Here's the rose bowl. I don't know how many other pieces there were. Fenton made for LG Wright. 20 Stacy. Twenty-two, Nancy Adams. Good morning. Uh, oh, let me get the first one. Uh, Swifty. There's the cruet. I could probably put the crew and the Rose Bowl up there. 28. Twenty-nine. Linda's out. Okay. We still have Swifty. Okay, here we go. I'm cold in here. It's cold in here today. They are. Eileen... Are you are you supposed to are you working today watching your favorite show? <laughs> I don't I bet she hasn't left yet. <laughs> 37 Sylvia Lee. Good cuz I got to ask you something. <laughs> I got a piece of Roseville and I did not I did not look it up. I know it's old. Let me show it to you, Eileen, see if you know. You know what that is? Yeah, it's the same thing here. Okay, um, we are, you haven't left yet. <laughs> Eileen will be here solo tomorrow. She'll hold the fort down while I'm out getting you good stuff. <laughs> Mostique. It is Roseville, though. It's got to be an early piece because it's not it's not signed. It's got to be early, early. 44 with Stacy. You're going to get choice. Okay. Thank you. All right, it looks like everybody is out. Stacy Freeman is in at 44, and she is going to be the winner. And Stacy, let me know which ones you'd like. You can take as many as you want. The Rose Bowl, the Cruet, or the Vase.
Daisy Freeman. The tall and the cruet. Okay. You want all, do you have this one, Stacy? Four twenty eight and four four twenty seven is the Moss Rose vase. Four twenty eight. Let me go. Let me go up and grab that price. Uh, Okay, 44. Um, okay, Stace. Uh, I want to. I want. I, I. I want them to stay together. Would you do 25 on the Rose Bowl? I don't really ever do this, but it's kind of nice if they stay together. If you don't want to, that's okay. We'll start it at 25, but. Um, Totally up to you. I'll give you a deal on it. Um, nope, the, the deal, we'll, we'll start it at 25 and if, if uh, she doesn't take it. But she got the other two pieces. Okay, so she's going to take it. Yeah, I don't often do that, but it's hard to find all three of those together. I, I just I just wanted to keep them together. Okay. So this is the piece of Roseville, um, 1920s. Now uh, I can't I, I've got it. Mo, Mostique is that what it was called? Um, 19 M O S T I Q U Mostique. This is Roseville, very early Roseville, 1920s. It's before they were signed. It's got a number on the bottom, but it is Roseville. I love this pattern. Very early Roseville. I'm going to start this one out at 20. Isn't that pretty? I love, I love, love, love the design of the pottery and the texture of it. Very early, early days of Roseville. And of course, any any pottery is, um, you know, this old is hard to find in good shape. This one is. It's got just just a tad of paint. It's not even. It's just. I don't. I don't even. That's not even a flaw. Um, I don't see anything. It's gorgeous. Let me go ahead and measure it. Okay. It is. Six inches, and I, I just love the shape of it. Looks like little shovels, yeah. Oh, it's so it's so pretty. Okay, 1920s. Here we go. Great Gadsby set for the play. Yes, yes. Isn't it nice? Somebody has protected the bottom, which is really nice. And that does, I think that really, really protects it. I'm getting chipped up. 23 with Nancy. excited Eric Murphy is coming to Teak Stock. I can't even tell you. I'm just looking. I'm just looking. Did you hear that? Eileen, Eric Murphy's coming to Teak Stock. All right. Uh, 27, 29, 
30, 31. I got to practice my auctioneering. Okay, what do you want to get? What do you go? 10, 10 there. What do you go? 12 and a half. What do you go? 15, what do you go? 17 and a half. What do you want to go? 20, what do you go? 22 and a half. 25, what do you go? 27. I'll get 27, what do you go? 29. 29 is bid. What do you want to get? What do you go? 31, 31 there. What do you want to go? 35, Christine. I'll get 35, what do you go? 37. Anybody want to go? 37, what do you go? 37. What do you want to do? What do you go? 37. <laughs> I got to practice. Uh, Eric Murphy is, um, he, he has just got a wonderful knowledge of Carnival Glass. I think you're going to like him. And uh, he will he will be in he, he will just be he'll be a delight he'll teach us a lot. Well, it the calling when you're an auctioneer the calling is the easiest part, um, and and uh, we are so there's not very many of us anymore. They're calling auctioneers people that just put on online auctions, which I disagree with that. Um, but the calling part is the easiest. Catching the bids, having the stamina, stamina, the voice, um, and just to keep yourself mentally clear with every everybody walking around, moving around, talking in the audience, that's the hard part. The calling is easy. <laughs> All right, 35 is bid. Nancy's out, I think. Okay. And, you know, I had the White Star. The White Star is, um, the, well, the sun kind of has the White Star going, but it's not like it used to be. So I don't, all my crew that I worked with at the White Star retired. So I, there's, it's all internet. I don't know. It's different than it used to be. Um, and I used to have that to practice and I don't have that to practice anymore. So I'm going to have to start practicing in my car where people will think I'm nuts going down the road. I got to keep my hands on the wheel. <laughs> All right, Christine Smith gets that for 35. Yep. So, you know, um, and it's really weird because when you're sitting up there, you notice everything. A good auctioneer notices everything. I can actually look in the crowd and it, it, they don't have to put up their hands. I know which ones are, which people are interested in bidding, but, um, with all that distraction comes, you know, you really have to concentrate. I can also tell if, if I, you know, you know, I can see everybody just, just think about it. I see everybody now at the white star. You know, we'd have hundreds of people. And in my little shop, there's, there's, at my auction, we've got 30 chairs. But there's people outside. There's people way outside I have to look at. Um, and, of course, I'm out of practice. <laughs> okay, we got some hall pieces here. We're going to do choice on this. We have a pitcher and a vase. And these are the smaller hauls. Ooh, look at the hallmark on the bottom. We're going to start these out at 15. Hall pottery. Um, this one has the blue, kind of the blue greens up to the pinks. This is the wildflower. These, these, these both match, don't they? This one is the vase. And here's the bottom. Nice, clear hallmark on the bottom. Hull pottery. Um, these are six inches, and we'll start them out at 15. And Swifty's going to start us out. <laughs> Do you see them? You know, it's really weird because before I became an auctioneer, I had complete total stage fright. Anytime I got up in front of people, I don't have the nervousness. Um, listen, oops, I don't want that. The things that I worry about is my voice. You know, especially doing teak stock, I, there's, I have to basically do the whole sale. <laughs> That's a lot, 200 lots plus whatever George brings, whatever Eileen brings. That's a lot. Now, um, my clerk last year was my very best friend, Brent Wilbur. He used to be um, an auctioneer at White Star. So if he clerks again this year, I will have a backup auctioneer just in case. That makes me feel good, just in case. <laughs> I, 
I do have more Hull Bonnet. Bonnet um, I don't have it here though. It's over at the other. It's over at the other. Um, it's over at Drummies. Well, in June last year, it was a trip because I didn't have a backup and we had those 100 degree temperatures and I don't have any air conditioning in the, in the building. We had big fans, but th when you have big fans blowing, that's actually worse for your voice. Um, and I, and of course it was the first one we had, so I was really nervous about that, but it all worked out. But this, this year we're starting in May, so I should have cooler temperatures. Um, if we have to wear jackets or something inside, that is a whole lot better than fans and a hundred degrees. That, that's, that was hard. That was brutal. Let's, let's say that that was brutal. <laughs> Uh, 26 30 of course you want to come to the auction the prices were great last year at both sales very um, unusual things I I pick things for the sale that are that you're gonna love and the prices are really really good so if you can make it to the auction you want to you want to get there all right Nancy Adams is 35 Sherry Becks, let us know. 40 was, was Stacy Freeman. This will be for choice. Okay. Eileen and I are going to be doing a show um, one evening pretty soon, tonight or tomorrow, and we're going to have some more. I'll see if I can pull some bow knot, or she might have some too. Okay. 43 with Nancy Adams. This is for choice. Oh, Sylvia. That would be so cool, Sylvia. So cool. Um, and Nancy Adams, let us know. Nancy Adams is at 47. And Stacy Freeman's out. Okay. We'll do a last chance. Here is our high bid. Okay, Nancy, would you like the pitcher or the vase? The pitcher or the vase? Or both. The choice is yours. I'm going to take them both, okay. Thank you. Sure, my numbers are correct. All right. I haven't. Uh, you want me to go check? Let me go check and see if I've got a hole here in the other room. I might. Um, let me go check real quick. You guys, you guys, talk a minute, okay? I think I got the last bone up, but I'm gonna go check. found another piece of it. It's not the bow nut, though. I found a 
Not the more Bailey. We sold the cornucopia yesterday. And we have one today. All right. So I have some bigger pieces here. All right. All right, so here we go. So this is not the bow knot. This is the cornucopia. We're going to have, yeah, Eileen is going to bring some pottery to our night sale too. Um, I'm going to start pulling for that probably today. And I'll, I'll, we'll have some pottery for that night sale. That's for sure. Okay, so um, this is six and a half by um, nine. So yesterday we had the bow knot. This is a totally different style. And uh, of course they're displayed singly. I like them displayed like across from each other and then to highlight a vase. Um, I don't know, tonight or tomorrow, probably tomorrow night. So you're gonna get your choice of those two or this one. This is done in the pinks and blues. This is a little bit bigger one. I'll measure them for you. We'll start these out at 15. So I got too much going on here. The cornucopias are six and a half inches tall, about nine and a half inches wide. So you're you're gonna get this is for choice, but I'm gonna give you the option of getting both. I don't think they were they match, okay? But I've got them at separate times. But I, you might want both. Don't that wouldn't that be wouldn't that be pretty to highlight something like a, a big vase in the middle? So you can take one or two. Okay, so it'll be two times your money. Or we have this vase. Okay. And this vase is eight inches tall. I love, I love the top of this. Love that look and the handles. All in good condition. I'm double checking because I just grabbed them. Yep. All right, here we go. Pete's taking off now. <laughs> here we go. All right. like I said before because there's different picture on each side now I'll sell at least one piece and this is a taller vase kind of had a mid-century feel today, didn't it? Kind of looks like it. Uh, I'm going to go pick up a bunch of stuff next to, tomorrow, so the next sale will definitely be a fresh pick sale. <laughs> I, can't, I can't wait. It's like Christmas when I pick stuff up. I just cannot wait to share with you. Swifty's in at 29. Sherry's at 30. Yes, please leave a thumbs up. Watch that short today. Oh my gosh. I was going to tell Pete. He's probably gone. Um, that if you watch the short today, it's, it's John and I were out getting, um, getting, trying to find deals for you guys for campers. If you wanted to come and rent a camper 
from Larry's RV. So we went to the um, RV show last week. Um, Russell worked at, worked there. And there was a camper there. You have to see it. It's in the shorts. I cannot imagine pulling that camper anywhere. But I fell in love with it. It was so cool. If you wanted to kind of park it for a, a cabin somewhere. But it's it's pretty funny. If you watch the short, you'll see, you'll see that. Also on the deals page and in the community tab on YouTube, we um, I posted a collage of pictures of Dolores, John, I, and Pete from last month. So that is also posted this morning. Okay, Sherry Bex is out. Nancy Adams is at 32. Swifty, let me know if you're in or out. You will get your choice of any piece. There are three pieces in this lot. Uh, the cornucopia, there's two pieces of, there's two cornucopias, and there's this vase. Three pieces total. Nancy Adams is at 32. Swifty, let me know if you're in or out. Okay. All right. $32 is the winner with Nancy Adams. Nancy, it's your pick. That's okay. Did you just, did you just, now there's not both, Nancy, there's three. So there's the vase, a cornucopia, or a cornucopia. So let me know which ones you want. All of them. Okay, so there's three. That's a good deal. 433. Okay. Nope, nope. If you misunderstood, it's, uh, yeah, it is a great deal. If you misunderstood, Nancy, I can run it again. Are you okay with that? Okay, because I could give you the vase and I could run these horns again. Okay, that's okay. Yeah, it, you got them for a really good price. Okay. I am going to have to move some of this stuff out of here. We're getting a pile here. Okay. Oops, got one more here. So, let's do a longer burger. Ooh, this one's dusty, but it's big. Let's let's look and see. Make sure there's not anything in there. losing oh there it is so we're gonna do a longer burger oh this one's got a fabric liner that's actually quilted look at that that fabric liner is actually quilted this is a longer burger quilted and then pleated oh this isn't a longer burger this is a rice craft basket boy it's very similar I'm not familiar with that but we're gonna sell that basket it looks just like Longer Burger. It's got the wood lid. This was from 1998 in the heart of Ohio. So I don't know, maybe that's a Longer Burger brand. But it, it is the same quality, I'm telling you. It's, it's gorgeous. Wood top. Let's go ahead and start this one out at 10. No, no, no. Maybe lunch in it. I know. And here we go. I'm going to hold this up because it's big. Here we go. 
Sherry Best is in at 12. How are you this morning, David? Stacy Freeman's in at 20. All right. We're telling these glasses. I've had these sitting here forever. Twenty two with Charlotte. Gotta make way for some new stuff. It's all new to you though. Lord's out. Charlotte Crow, let me know if you're in or out. Just waiting for Charlotte over on Facebook. She bid 22, so Charlotte, let us know. Okay, thank you for what you did do. Appreciate it. Stacy Freeman, 26. 436. Thank you. Okay. Bailey, Bailey. Look at you. Look at Bailey. nothing. That's what he's going to do. <laughs> Just doing nothing. Okay. Um, this is going to be our last item of the day. He just lays there. He just wants to be up here by me. Um, these are a thumbprint. I can't remember the name of these now. They're in uh, beautiful pineapple colored, mid-century, for sure. Um, they are six inches. Somebody help me out with the maker. I don't, I don't even know. I haven't cleaned these out. He's waiting for spring. <sighs> He's just tired. <laughs> the, that's the name of them, ha Happy? Who makes these? They're thumbprint design. You're going to get the whole set. We'll start it at 10. This will be our last lot of the day. Yeah, I, I, I knew who made them at one time. I, I've forgotten. All right, here we go. All for one money. You don't remember the maker either? Yeah, I don't either. Crown, King's Crown? Yeah, I, now that, that sounds familiar to me too. Whatever they are, they're beautiful. The color is amazing. The color is amazing. And they're going to spark a little more. I'll try to wash them before I send them out. I just pulled these really quickly. And now we'll set up for the evening sale, whenever that will be. like Tiffin to you? Yeah, I, I don't know. $15 is bid. 
Hi, DJ. Good morning. I think these came out of the storage unit. They were actually in my back room, so they were a no pay from who knows when. You're getting all four for one money. $15 is bid. Do they come in other colors, Happy? It seems like I remember seeing these in red. Last chance. Swifty, let me know if you're out. Waiting for Swifty. Stacy, I just did something really dumb. Um, and it only affects Stacy Freeman. Because I didn't I didn't bill Stacy for yesterday's sale. Stacy, I, I, I flipped my pages around when I was showing you guys the book. So uh So, Stacy, I'm going to bill you for both days, yesterday and today. DJ's out. I'm going to go ahead and call it. I don't know where Swifty is. Maybe she's taking her dog out again. <laughs> I'm going to sell it to Karen Lord for 18 And um, I'll, I'll invoice you for that, Karen, so that you can I can put it with your purse. Four thirty-eight. So, just so Stacy knows, I'm supposed to be on this page. I showed you guys my book. I ended up writing on this page. So, Stacy's up here from yesterday. I didn't invoice her yet. So, she's going. I'm going to invoice her for two days. I might do that with Happy too. I didn't notice. So Karen Lord gets, uh, oops, and I put two numbers on this one. Time to quit. 437. Uh, tumbler set. And what was that price? 18. Okay, good deal. Comes in cranberry and, and green. Yeah, I, I thought I saw it in green before. Yeah. I like it. I like the yellow. Yellow would be my favorite color. Okay, guys. Let's get rid of this. All right. Hope everybody had a great morning. Um, we're going to do the night sale. I'm thinking I want to do the night sale tomorrow. I'll be excited about all the stuff that I'm going to pick up tomorrow. So um, tomorrow, Eileen will be on the 10 at 10. Yes, she'll be on the 10 at 10. And hopefully, we'll have an evening sale at eight. Um, but definitely for sure 10 at 10 tomorrow with Eileen and I'll be back here for the Fenton Friday sale Friday morning for sure also. All right. Have a great day. Have a great, great day. Consider coming to Teak Stock. It's getting close. Let me know. I'll talk to you later. Thank you everybody. Appreciate y'all.